Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday and welcome to the weekly home fragrance roundup. I hope you've all had a really good week. Um, I've had a, a much better week this week than I anticipated having. So um, I am relieved for that. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of know what's going on a little bit um, with Mr. Kong. Um, he is obviously, he's an older dog and um, I was starting to kind of see some signs that just weren't great. Um, he does have some health conditions that we are monitoring with the help of our vet. And um, I just started noticing some things that the vet asked me to look for. And so we had an evaluation done and while it's not like fantastic news, it's not like, you know, Mr. Kong gets another like clean bill of health for like the next 10 years. It's, it's not like that. Um, it's also not something that is imminent as in, you know, him, <laughs> can't even say it, um, not being here after this week. <laughs> I, I really thought that this was gonna be the week and it was just heartbreaking for me but we were able to adjust his meds um, and add in some other things that are gonna help him and keep him more comfortable and just happy and content for the time being so that um, we can enjoy some more time with him. But, uh, you know, this wasn't, um, it, it's, it's gonna happen at some point in the nearer future than I would care for, but, I, I think it just, it made me feel a lot better talking to the vet and just having her evaluate him and just for the time being, at least having a little bit more time. So that was a huge relief for me. But um, let's not talk about that because that stuff makes me sad. <laughs> let's talk about my distractions. Um, and in this video, it's the weekly home fragrance roundup. So we're gonna be talking about the candles that I was burning, the wax melts that I was melting, and I do have some updates for you guys on some vendor wax. Um, and uh, in my case, also the candles that I was crocking because uh, you guys know that I am an avid candle crocker. And um, so yeah, that's, that's what this video is all about. So um, it's a beautiful sunny day right now and I'm just going to distract myself with talking about things that make me happy. So here we go. First, what is a candle crock? I'm gonna put a video down below. If you are new to my channel, I would really recommend checking that video out after this one. It will sort of explain the concept to you and um, in the description box down below where I will put the link. I will also put links for some neutral candle crocks that I think are great options. Um, but in my candle crocks right now, I have, in all three that I currently have going in the house, I have, sandalwood vanilla or vanilla sandalwood i can never remember what the order is i think it's sandalwood vanilla from bath and body works from back in the day like it was a while ago that i purchased these candles i think they were maybe from like 2013 or 14. um and surprisingly these actually have a good amount of strength left in them especially when i put them in the candle crocks so i've just been putting them in there full i haven't even bothered burning them um, I am burning Bath & Body Works candles right now. You'll see here in a second that I am. But for the most part, a lot of my older Bath & Body Works candles, I am putting them in the candle crock because I'm just not getting the strength and throw from them anymore when I'm burning them. So for whatever reason, they do better in the candle crock in terms of strength and throw. So that is where they go to live their entire life. So the wicks are never even lit on most of these candles. So what I have to do afterwards is basically, um, I just put the candles in the freezer after they've hardened up again, after turning off the candle crock. Um, and the wax normally just literally comes out in one big chunk and then I toss the wax. You can recycle this wax in a multitude of ways. I'm not gonna get into it, to, into it in this video, but um, a lot of times I just end up throwing mine away, which, I know can be wasteful but what are you gonna do um but uh yeah it just allows me to get through a lot of my bath and body works backup stash which has been a good 
good solid goal of mine now for a couple years and it's it's really helped whittle down my collection so anyway still using my candle crocs and by the way i do leave them on 24 7. um when i put a full candle into my candle croc i leave it in there for basically an entire week i do not turn the warmer off at night you certainly can I just leave it on and then um, I'll turn it off, let the wax harden for like a day or two and then switch it out and then put another candle in and then turn it on and leave it on. The only time that I ever turn my warmers off, and this includes my Scentsy warmers, is when we're leaving for like an overnight trip or a multiple day trip. If I'm just running to the grocery store, I leave my Scentsy warmers off. I always blow out my candles, but I don't necessarily turn the Scentsy or the Candle Crocs off. So I know some of you have had questions about that. So there you go. All right. Should we do the update on Rose Girls first? Let's do that. Because I know so many of you um, were so excited that I finally have started getting into vendor wax. Um, I can see where it is a rabbit hole for a lot of you guys. Absolutely. I have certainly gotten so many suggestions from you and I have started visiting different websites of different vendors you know there's sassy girl there's k's there's Te i think it's teddy bees like i got sec several recommendations for destinations like there's so many right so um i've started kind of going through the different websites and i think that i have my second vendor selected and who i'm thinking of going with is k's wax melts uh it's k-a-e i believe um so probably in February, I'll place an order with K's and um, just kind of check their stuff out. Um, I have personally committed to doing at least four orders of vendor wax this year to be able to give you guys some alternatives outside of my usual fave, which for me is Scentsy. But um, yeah let's let's get into how i feel about the rose girls so what i have worn so far are these guys right here so some bags are a little more empty than others <laughs> um i'm going to start with the free gift which was warp zone so i actually did end up warming this even though i didn't like it at all um i just put it in my laundry room and it smelled like a tin of Altoids. It was such a strong peppermint scent that I couldn't really enjoy it. I am new to enjoying mint scents, and this one was just way too much for me. So thankfully, it was just a nice little freebie, and I got to try it. But ooh, if you like the smell of Altoids, you should check out Warp Zone because it'll throw you out of the house. Now, before I even get into talking about my thoughts on the scents with the rest of these, I want to address the strength and the throw. First off, all of the scents that I've tried are fantastic. I don't, besides obviously Altoid Mint Tin here, um, but everything that I bought, I'm really enjoying and loving the scents. I find that the bakery that I purchased is to die for it. She has some amazing bakery scents. Um, the fragrances, the blends, love all of them. Not a one that I've come across where I've been like, mm, I don't know about this. Just delicious. Here's the thing. These go really fast. And I think this was the thing that for whatever reason, no one had mentioned to me prior to actually deciding to get into vendor wax there was always like the enthusiasm for me to do it right like yes you're gonna love it there's so many good bakeries out there there's so many good fruity scents they're so much stronger they you know there's so much more variety there's so many dupes yada yada and all this stuff but the thing that I was that I thought was hysterical that no one mentioned until after I actually got the order in was that vendor wax really only lasts a day like a day so I will turn my Scentsy warmers on in the morning typically probably around 9 and then I just let them go until we go to bed at night which is typically Craig and I will head upstairs around 10 o'clock right um, so by the time that I go to turn the warmers off at 10 at night 
like the wax is done. Like there's very little scent left. And when I turn it on again the next morning, I smell nothing. Like I essentially just kind of smell like the wax with like the tiniest remnant of, oh yeah, this was a berry scent, you know? Like I can kind of get the whiff of the berry, but these burn hot and fast and then they are done. So, I kind of have a feeling that this is a trend with most vendor wax because I finally started getting that feedback <laughs> when you guys were leaving me messages on my video about the Rose Girls haul where I was going through and giving you my first impression smells. So with that being said, um, I, I think for me, the thing that I really like about the vendor wax so far is definitely that the bakery is to die for. And I think in certain cases, the bakery from Rose Girls is even better than some of the bakery that I get from Scentsy. But I am not someone who likes, who really likes changing my wax out on a daily basis. So for me, um, I don't think vendor wax will become the norm. Um, like I said, I committed to trying four different vendors this year. So I feel like that's going to give me a pretty good cross section. Um, uh, and I'm definitely trying to go with like very different companies with, with each one that I place. So, but I really like the fact that with my Scentsy, I actually get multiple days. Like, I know there are some people who have said like Scentsy lasts a day for them. I, d I don't, I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> I mean, maybe they're just picking all the wrong scents because there are scents that are much lighter than others, for sure, hands down. But that being said, like for example, with this Very Blessed, which I have had going in my downstairs powder room, I don't have to change that one cube out, uh, but maybe like every four days. like. For four days straight, I get a solid, consistent strength and throw. At the end of the fourth day, I know it's time to change it. Like, it's definitely a lot weaker. But at least four days where I don't have to, like, go in there and get my little cotton ball and get the wax out and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of the biggest thing that I've noticed so far with this. And also just some other vendor wax that I don't even, well... Candle Daddy, that one is kind of like an established company, but I've had people who have just made wax melts in their home send me scents before. Um, I don't really do that anymore. I, I try I try really hard, you guys, not to um, accept anything from subscribers. It's just very important to me that you guys don't think that I have this channel just to have things sent to me. That's, that's not why I do this. If I want something, I am lucky enough in that you know, I, I can afford to go buy the things that I want and support the companies that I want to support. Um, but I, I don't ever want people to feel like they need to send me anything. I don't, I don't need money. I don't need stuff from anybody. Um, this channel truly is just the outlet for all of my various hobbies, right? And it's, it's great for that. But I don't want you guys think to think that you are obligated to send me anything. I don't, please don't ever think that. So, Getting back to my thoughts on these, yes, they they burn hot and fast. After a day, I'm done. So there is an annoyance with needing to change out my wax daily now, but the scents are really good. <laughs> so I can see where people can justify spending the money on the vendor wax, um, which I actually think that I spend less money with Scentsy than I personally would spend with Vendor Wax because the, you know, the average bar has um, eight cubes in it, as you can see. So, um, you know, and I use two cubes and a minimum, I would say bare minimum, I get two days out of any Scentsy bar. But most of my favorites tend to be longer lasting, so four, five days. Five days is pushing it, but I can still smell it with some of my favorites. So, um, but I'm just gonna give you guys the rundown on my thoughts on these real quick, and then we'll get into the candles, because I feel like I've, 
I just, I feel like I want to give you guys my honest opinion about it and I want to do it in a way that's very constructive so that if you do decide to place an order with Rose Girls that you just kind of know what to expect. Because if you're new to it like I am, it can be a little bit of a surprise when you're like, oh, I just put this in yesterday. It's done now. <laughs> I have to put in a new one. Um, okay, so apricot whipped cream birthday cake delightful absolutely delicious and thanks to all of those who let me know that um, the different colors of the wax didn't matter thank you that was actually super helpful so this one here has a really nice sweet apricot and a creamy um, it's just a creamy vanilla note and it's like an apricot and cream scent it's very aptly named, let me just tell you. The berry creme brulee. Now this is mostly berry. I don't get creme brulee from this per se. There is a slight boozy note when you first stick your nose into this, um, but it's just another nice creamy vanilla with a berry. Love this one. So far, would totally repurchase these first two totes. Another one that I would repurchase is Crazy Pants Vanilla Crunch Donuts. Love the name of this one. Just delicious. Again, it's it's like a mix of like a like a crunchy vanilla cereal with kind of a generic fruitiness running through it. It's just, it's really good. It's also creamy cuz it's got that vanilla base to it, right? This one is delicious. Royal Sugar Cookie and Sugar Cookie Dough. I actually was mixing a couple cubes of each this morning in my warmers throughout the house for today. And I really like this a lot. This is delicious. Now, between Royal Sugar Cookie and Sugar Cookie Dough, there's a difference between the two scents. This, sm the Sugar Cookie Dough smells like straight up like Pillsbury, um, like sugar cookie dough in the little roll that you get from the grocery store. That's exactly what this smells like. This one has a little bit more complexity to it. I feel like this one does have kind of that slight alcohol boozy note on cold sniff, but it turns into just a really nice creamy sugar cookie with like um, just a nice icing over top of the sugar cookies great these these are both fantastic I really have enjoyed both of these I will repurchase both of these um, and then upstairs I have the biolage which is the it smells like the biolage hair care products it's a very distinct smell if you've ever smelled it like you immediately recognize it as like oh that's biolage shampoo <laughs> it smells really good I love the smell of this it reminds me of my mom this is dead-on authentic dupe and I like it. I think I would repurchase this one. It's it's a really nice scent to have around that reminds me of my mom. It's not like my mom isn't here on earth with us anymore, but she does live a couple hours away, so I don't get to see my mom every day, and having that smell just reminds me of her. That is a shampoo that she has liked in the past and has used a fair amount, so I love that. Also, did do a couple of scentsy things this week because I had to. Sweet plum pastry once again, loved it. And then the berry bless, obviously, from the bathroom down here. All right, candles. First off, sweet cranberry pie. Um, I had purchased a few of these when I placed the order for a few things in either late November or early December. Um, love this one. It's delicious. Um, I think it's one of the best ones that Bath and Body Works came out with last year. It made its way into my favorites of 2020. If you missed that home fragrance of 2020 favorites video, I'll link it down below. Um, tart cranberries, brown sugar, chopped walnuts, flaky pie crust. It's delicious. It's really nice. And I find myself still enjoying the cranberry scents during February. So that one is appropriate for me. Um, here is the lid to the Wildberry Jam Donut which you will see an in-depth review of tomorrow. The color of this lid and the color of the jar of the candle, kind of my favorite, I feel like. Um, 
Another review that you will see tomorrow that you can't get anymore, but I'm going to upload it anyway because this this did return after initially being released, I think a couple years ago, um, Snow Angels came back. And when it was in stock, I snagged a box um, from QVC. So uh, I want to do a review of this because I really am surprised by how much I like this. And I really hope it comes back. Like I really hope this comes back. This is to die for. Also, it's burning like a champ. Like Whatever wax formula and wicks are in here, these, this is really good. And it might be that I'm just burning it for like three hours and I'm being very diligent about it. <laughs> That's probably why. Um, very pumpkin waffles. Oh, I finished another one. Look how that wax just almost is gone. There's just a little bit left at the bottom. I love this one. I still have a few more backups of it. I really hope and pray this one sticks around forever with me homeworks because it's delightful also from homeworks this was a tsv uh was it last spring or the spring before i want to say it was actually the year before uh vanilla current biscotti do you guys remember this one i have to admit the first time that i burned this i liked it but i didn't love it all of a sudden i'm loving this scent and she is a powerhouse i don't think this candle was actually as strong as when i first received it um having it sit over the last year year and a half i think has really been a good thing for this particular scent because it is a freaking powerhouse to the point where after like two hours i'm like yeah i can totally blow this out and it lingers when Harry does current scents, he really puts a lot of current in it. And this one has a lot of current. And I I like it in here because that like biscotti note is also nice and strong. Oh, I'm totally gonna lose my like sign again. I have this like flower sign for my business, but it's on one of those like flags that like blows in the wind. Well, usually the flag ends up in the neighbor's yard because the wind comes whipping through and it like literally picks it up and blows it over into their yard and then they return it <laughs> like, you lost your flag again <laughs> anyway i'm really milking this guy right here like and by milking i mean i burn this for like an hour and then i blow it out because I've really fallen in love with this scent and I didn't love it when I first got it. And this is a three wick. Like this is from back in like the homeworks three wick days. Um, wild hydrangea, you guys. Um, it's funny cause they, <laughs> they have blue hydrangea on the bottom, but there's obviously beautiful white fluffy hydrangeas here, but the notes are, um, blue hydrangea, Hampton meadow grass, willow branches, pear skin and night musk. Um, really this is, um, this is a green hydrangea floral scent. Um, there's definitely that kind of green grassy type of note, like that freshness. Um, I do get that pear note in here. It's not sweet. It really is like the pear skin. It's definitely noticeable, but as far as like willow branches, I don't know. I use a lot of willow branches in my floral decor for weddings and they don't smell. So I'm not sure what that note would be. And in terms of night musk, I don't get much muskiness from this. This is really, this is floral hydrangea with a healthy green note and some pear tossed in. And it's really nice. It's beautiful. You guys, the very last thing is, um, I'm going to be sad when I finish this because dang, I love this candle. I've also kind of been nursing this one very slowly. This being the Rosewood Plum. I actually did an in-depth review of the Rosewood Plum and the Blackberry Rose because those came in a duo together. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below. But yeah, that is absolutely delightful. I love it. I do have one backup, so that's good. But I'll definitely miss that one when it's gone. That's a floral that I can totally get behind. It's beautiful. I love it. So you guys, um, 
that's what I have for you. <laughs> that's the weekly home fragrance roundup from this week. So sorry that I spent so much time talking about the Rose Girl stuff, but I really wanted to, I wanted to just emphasize that I'm loving the scents and I'm so glad that I finally tried. Um, but really my only surprise was the speed with which I am going through the wax melts. So it's fine. Lord knows I have wax melts for days. So changing it out daily is just more of like an inconvenience. Um, but I do wish the scents lasted a little bit longer because, oh my gosh, if they did, I'd be buying a lot more Rose Girls for sure. <laughs> and, and I'll be back. I will. So, but next up will be K's. So if you have any suggestions, um, let me know. I already have a loaf in mind that I would like to create because you can kind of make your own custom cremate. Uh, I was going to say cremations. Mm. No, creations. Totally different thing. Um, I have something else on my mind, obviously. Um, but you can kind of make your own. And then she also has a Sol de Janeiro uh, Brazilian Boom Boom Cream dupe scent. But I'm so excited. I can't wait. All right, you guys. Let me know what you are burning and melting down below in the comments and be sure to check out that description box for everything that I referenced. All right, have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for the candle reviews. Take care. Bye.